If you ever edited masking transitions, then you know how hard it is. You first have to cut out the object that should move through the screen, then you have to animate the mask. That can easily take about 30 minutes, maybe even up to two hours, depending on the transitions that you want to do. And you also have to think about creating masking transitions or that you want to create a mask transition when you record the footage so that the subject actually moves in front of your camera. And yeah, that's a lot of work. It makes everything pretty complicated. And actually the transitions that you just saw in the intro, they are completely fake. None of them was actually part of the footage that you saw. So that made everything easier because I just inserted them, them in post and I created a pack a transitions pack with 20 transitions like that where you can just grab the transitions and drag them over your footage make some small adjustments and then it's done so if you want to have it easy to create mass transitions then keep watching because i show you now how this pack works on the computer and then you can easily implement that by yourself so let's have a look so these are all the files that come with the transitions pack and the good thing about these files is that they are Apple ProRes 444 files so they have an alpha channel so let's say you have this card transition here then as you can see there is like no background like the background is completely transparent what means that when you drag those clips into your timeline you don't have to do any keying or masking anymore it's all done for you already so let me just show you quickly what transitions you have here at first you have this black transitions here a bit like shadows going through your footage then you have the car transitions here then you have humans tra human transitions where humans walk through the shot it's good for cities for example then you have pole transitions which is also good for the city also have that on the side it's actually saying up i have to adjust it it's an early version of the pack then towel transition and yeah so these are all the transitions here so let's go to final card and i show you how it works let me first drag one clip in the timeline to show you the transparency as you can see i just drag the clip in there and it's directly transparent you don't have to do anything that's the good thing here so but you have to do some adjustments as you can see here this is the first clip with a snake and here's the second clip of the first transition with my friend walking through the mountains. And as you can see, these clips here overlap. And that's pretty important because if they would not overlap, then let me just show you that quickly. If, if I would just have them after each other, then you would see that here you, you would be able to see both clips and that of course doesn't look very good because it's only one clip at the same time here then so what you simply want to do you overlap them and then you have to do some very simple masking so how i do that here in final cut pro 10 you can also use davinci resolve or adobe premiere 2 and a lot of other apps out there to do the same but what i did here it's i simplified it by simply using crop left so when you move the slider here what you can see here in that area is that it like changes the clips like it it basically hides the top clip and shows the bottom clip so let me just drag that to around the area where it was before so i set a keyframe here and then i also set a keyframe at the end of this overlapping between the clips and there i have it set to zero again so that the overlapping clip is completely visible can also make that more visible here so here basically this is the movement that it makes and let me hide the transition clip to make it more obvious for you so what happens now is that we simply have this transition here that happens behind the transition clip that's why it looks like a masking transition so it's very easy to do actually and this is exactly the same with all the other clips here like here you also see it's keyframed here yeah they have a few more keyframes so there sometimes you have to make some adjustments then you have to add like a keyframe more and adjust the position of the mask here a little bit more so that it stays behind the transition but usually it works very easy i made sure that you have a lot of space here so even if it doesn't move perfectly to the movement of the transition clip it still should be hidden all the time so it looks great 
And apart from that, what you also want to do, and not necessarily with the black transitions, but with the other transitions, is to make sure that the colors match to your footage, of course. Can just show you that quick. You see that I have some effects here. So right now you can see that the colors of the transition clip and the colors of my main clips don't really match, right? So what I did here at first, I made it a little bit darker by bringing the shadows down, the midtones and highlights to just like match those clips a bit better. Then I also raised the saturation a little bit. And then I add the same LUT that I also added here in those clips to make sure that the colors match around. And usually like that already looks pretty good. So I could actually leave it like that, but I didn't really like the blue color here. So I also changed the U here. Like I simply got into the U saturation curves and when you slide that up or down, you can simply change the color completely. And here's the hue saturation. So I simply changed the saturation there as well. Very easy. And yeah, after that, the colors already match, but still it doesn't look perfect because you have a slightly white edge here, right? And that makes it, it look like this towel here wouldn't really belong to the footage, right? So add some directional blur. You find that in your effects under blur directional. Then I played a bit around with the settings here, made sure that the angle matches the movement angle of the transition. So and now you can see like before you see this white edge here after it's blurred out. So it looks more like it would belong to the footage and yeah. There it looks perfectly. And here I did exactly the same. I also made sure that the color grading matches. I wanted to match the skin tones around there at around the same level. So I also used the same LUT and did some adjustments to the brightness of the clip and the contrast. And I also added some directional blur, as you could see, like that blurs it all a bit together, which makes it look match more. Actually, exactly the same with the car, just some color grading here, adding the same LUT and also adding some blur so that especially the car movement, it moves fast. So it should look a bit blurry, right? So if that looked cool and if you also want to have it that easy to insert mass transitions into your videos, then if you're on YouTube right now, you find the link to the transitions pack in the description below. And if you're already on my website, then just scroll down and follow the steps to get the transitions pack.